Hey guys, this is Noel Padgaukar from Techie Paddy and welcome back to another video. Right now I'm sitting in a Hyundai Ioniq Hybrid and today I'm going to do a walk around of it. I apologize I didn't shoot this part while I was doing the walk around so I'm just doing this separately. I apologize for that. And in this video I'm going to cover up of all the stuff about what I feel about the car, the initial impressions like what is where, what is what etc. And uh, that's it. So, and uh, before I forget, uh, this video is just a walk around video. The driver driving video will come after this video. So, stay tuned for that. So, without further ado, let's begin. So, guys, as you can see, that this is the Hyundai Ioniq hybrid, and this is the key. This is a typical Hyundai key, as we have seen in the Indian cars also. Now, let's see on the front side, you can see that these are such a beautiful looking headlamps over here let me just put in a picture of this when it is lit up at night and i guess these are the daytime running lights and there are no fog lamps over here evidently it can see that there are front parking sensors so that's great i don't see any sign of a river front camera so i don't think this has the 360 view and you can see that this typically looks like a typical hyundai and some may mistake this as a facelift to verna or an accent what you in other markets and Let's go on the side and as you can see that this is a beautiful looking coupe design over here and you although you I love the alloy wheels you know these are stunning looking these are the aerodynamic alloy wheels that's what they say for the efficiency this thing Hyundai over here and all four disc brakes so that's great it is a very nice looking car I mean first impressions beautiful car coming back to the rear of the car you can see that it is kind of a notch back kind of design and the tail lamps are amazing these are all leds obviously over there you can see there's one reverse light you have the turn indicators here let me just unlock the car to see whether they light up there you go so this is not led unfortunately i guess the headlamps will be for led but this is the glass that is glass and you can see that it has the ionic batch over here and that and you have the reverse sensors over here too and a camera right over here now let's you know start by opening up the boot of the car so to open the boot you can uh, click on this button which is right over here and you can see that this is a massive boot the figures will be on the screen of how much is the boot capacity but this is the rear parcel shelf you can just drag it and keep it like this so that's great let's just again unfold it this is how you lock it and this is how you just roll back on opening the rear under underside of this you can see that there is a tire pressure kit and a tire repair inflation kit so no spare wheels so yeah and evidently you can see that this is a subwoofer i suppose so sound quality will be really great i guess this is infinity speakers or something if i'm not wrong oh that shut with the third let's look at the rear space and the car is unlocked it's locked so let's unlock it again We're using this button and as you can see that it looks pretty nice right the interior looks good and Every, you can see here that this is a power window switch this is not auto this is my um, there's not one touch down up and down but you can see that these are heated seats at the rear the last time i saw a heated seat in the rear was in the kia sorento when i was in iceland and that was a pretty impressive car and you can see that these are le perforated leather seats i don't know whether this is real or artificial leather but i suppose this is artificial leather because at this price about in the UK, the price is about twenty-three thousand pounds or something on the on the website I've seen. But well, let me just confirm and put it on the screen. Anyway, let's step inside and see how the car looks. So stepping inside, it is a bit of an ingress issue because this is a bit low. Let's close the door, and you can see that the amount of headroom I have is decent for a person like this. Me, at I am around five six five seven. Uh, this is to a position like for six feet or somewhere like that but you can see little bit very little bit tight space but if it is a five inches uh five feet someone guy uh, you have much more better space 
but you can see that uh, let me just turn down the camera for you yeah there you go sorry you can see that the under thigh support is not so great it is slightly lacking but because you're kind of sitting lower to the ground so about i don't know about that you have a central armrest over here only with cup holders here and that's it you have the ac vents right over here let me just show you again there you go and i suppose that's it there is no sunroof or something on the roof you have uh, these lights so if you can see here this is the light over here and i guess that's all about the rear seat so let's jump into the front and talk about it so now let's step into the front side you have the request sensor over here so you can just open up and on the door side of the driver side you can see that these are the memory functions for the driver side which is a memory you have front power front side windows which are auto up down you have the auto folding here so if you just do this when the car is on you will be able to fold a mirror this is to adjust the mirrors and these are the rear power window switches and that's all you have over here moving on you can see that you have different safety assistance systems such as lane keep assist you have the blind spot monitoring system this is the increasing or decreasing the brightness of this instrument cluster which i'll show you in a bit this is the headlight leveler let's just keep it to one uh, zero and this is the traction control this is the button to open the fuel lid which is on the left hand side and uh, this is I'm, I'm not pretty sure about how this works because i do i think if this is a 12 volt so i suppose this is for the main car battery not the hybrid battery and now let's move on to the steering wheel and you can see that this is a typical looking hyundai steering wheel which is in a hyundai car oh you can see the seat is coming automatically ahead so whenever you close the door and the driver is seated the seat automatically adjusts to the driving position and uh, you can see on the left hand side of the steering wheel we have the volume buttons you have the source changing buttons you have the call accept call decline you have i'm not sure about this button i've seen it in typical hyundai cars i'm not exactly sure what it is this is for the voice assistant system and that's all on the right hand side you have this is for the speedometer buttons and uh, this is for the cruise control switches i suppose and i think this is again for the radar or something and on the right hand side you have the wiper buttons uh, wiper switches which is auto that's great because many hyundai cars really really skip out on this so that's a weird situation you have the paddle shifts over here you have the pa again you have the negative paddle shifter and you have the headlamps which are automatic and on this side you can see that this is the huge infotainment screen i'll just put on the screen what size of the screen it is and on the top you have the auto dimming inside rear view mirror this is the climate control this is touch screen so let me just turn on the car and show you and when you turn on the car so this is automatic so this is a six speed dct automatic gearbox which made it to a 1.6 liter gdi petrol engine producing about it can pair to an electric motor so producing about 141 horsepower and 141 ps and i'll just put down the torque figure on the screen and you can see that these are the various buttons so this is for the parking sensor activation or not this is for the camera view cooling for the passenger heating for the passenger heated steering wheel heated for the driver cooling for the driver auto hold function and electronic parking brake and over here you have the wireless charging i suppose and you have two 12 volt charging sockets and one usb socket here over here you have the armrest over here and in this again you have a charging socket that's great i think that's a usb one so that's great and that's it in the glove compartment you have all the paperwork and so on on the passenger side you can see that the visibility is quite good actually you know very nice view of the surrounding in this car and really it's a very nice car to sit in especially the driver's seat the back is not that comfortable as per my uh, experience i'm not so sure you have the engine push stop start stop button and i'm just going to press the brake over here i'm just going to start You can see the car automatically starts up in the eco mode and uh, you can see that is the battery level over there uh, on the oh the engine kicked in i think it's because it's too cold you can see on the time screen there it's eight degrees i think the engine kicked in because to warm it up or something you can see that this is the battery level this is the fuel level these are the um, gear level gear lever levels and this is the 
display screen on the and that side you have the power eco and charge mode in every hybrid you might have already seen so you toggle with this steering button so keep on going down this way you have the miles per hour in uh, the screen and driving style energy flow you can see right now that the energy is being supplied to the battery by the engine so that's great and that's it and coming to the infotainment screen you can see that this is a touch screen system and to be honest this is very fluid i'm surprised it's a fantastic unit look very responsive very very responsive look at this look at this amazing you have the map you have the navigation you have the radio you have the media Apple CarPlay and Auto also inbuilt, so that's great. Sounds of nature, I suppose it's any every Hyundai car or something. I think I've seen. This is for the track. This is for setup. You can do your setup of sound settings, phone connection, etc. Blue Link also is there. You might have seen. Coming to the climate control part, so this is the automatic climate control, and this is the completely turning off. Oof. Can you hear this? It's silent because the engine just turned off. And let me just power on the AC again. This is for the uh, re recirculation out or inside. This is for the fan speed. This is for driver only. So even if you disable this, if you if you are the only person in the car, you can just do driver only and just get it for yourself. That's not a problem. I think that's single zone climate control, I suppose that's called. And you have the adjustment for the passenger also here. So you can do that. You have for the driver also, you can do that. You can sync it. So that's great. Rear defogger, front defogger and at the gear lever you can see this is the shift lock p r n d and then you so let me just slot it into p so you can see r when you do r you have the reverse parking camera which comes on the screen and you hear that bing 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 because it is basically so silent that is why they have to make the sound to for avoid the pedestrian to hit the car and you can see that this is the camera angles you can change you want this way or you want that way you can do some settings also display settings contrast and so on you have the car display over here which has the front and the rear parking sensors um, detecting everything so that's not a problem let's now put it in neutral there it is and put it in drive and if you put it this way you go into sport mode Woo! that's amazing look at the speedometer and yeah icy conditions drive carefully yes yes i know i know it is very cold you can see it is you can see a bit of icy area but it's all black ice so be careful when you're driving on all this put it in this eco again and you can see that that is a ready to drive symbol and then when it is when you turn off the aircon like for example just turn it off it goes into the ev mode that means the ev is activated and i'm just going to put it in park this is the electronic parking brake do you hear that if not i'm apologize and uh, I guess that's it and about the rear visibility so this is how it looks pretty funky right first time over here you have the passenger uh, mirror by and with the sun visor and a light so that's great you have the sunglass holder over here you have the sos button you have the lights over here this way and again you have the sun visor with the sunglass holder and uh, sorry the mirror and a light so that's good actually and uh, about safety so this has about six to seven airbags if i'm not wrong i'll just put this figure on the screen because i can see one two three in the seat over there somewhere and you can see that the airbag sign is here so i think there's seat airbags and there is a curtain airbag also i don't know whether you're able to focus but there is a curtain airbag also i'm so apologize for that so guys let me show you about the illuminated switches and how it looks at night so you can see that the steering buttons are all illuminated and that's the speedometer over there and on the on this side you have the window switches and the door unlock and lock as well as the window lock switches which are illuminated unfortunately i'm such a weird situation that the mirror lights are not illuminated so i guess this is some cost cutting over here i'm not so sure you have the seat memory light which is also illuminated and these are the other lights which are illuminated over here you can see that you have a bit of this ambient light over here you can see this is the little bit of a bluish ambient light under here again this is again i showed in the starting itself that how this looks and this is the aircon area which also looks like this 
on the gear lever side all this else is also illuminated and at the rear you can see there is another window switch is illuminated so i guess this is just the other illumination i felt that there could be some very nice thing like an ambient lighting after all this is 2023 now and now, now cars like a ford eco sport have started coming with ambient lights this doesn't have this is just this is it so hyundai could have done a bit better job in this situation so and speaking of illumination let's look at this beautiful speedometer so let me just navigate to a few menus thing which are not shown you so now for instance you are driving okay let me just pull up the handbrake to avoid any problems and uh, right now it is just turn into electric this is in drive mode now when i turn into sport mode you can see that there's a tachometer which appears over here and this basically is just the same there's only two modes the sport mode and the eco mode back when you shift the gear and when you're in the sport mode you can use these flappy paddles right over here and that becomes first gear and if you want to just uh switch off just hold it and it'll become sport mode again oh so it doesn't happen with the negative one it only happens with the positive one there it is and that's it this is how you put the sport mode this is normal this is sport and park so let me just show you quickly the engine bay let me this is how you pull the engine bay here and it indicates over here so let me just turn off the car and show you typical hyundai exit and entry sounds and see the seat is going behind i once i'm exiting the door and let's step out see the doors do close at the third i guess the quality is pretty good actually of this car and you have just a front wipers i didn't fire up the wipers right now because i just didn't have to anyway let's open the hood you can see that this is the typical 1.6 gdi engine and this is the hybrid power train which is connected to so yeah pretty funky right so let's just close it third good build quality and i guess that's it about this car this is the walk around of the hyundai ionic hybrid and i hope you guys enjoyed this video a driving video will come soon i'll shoot it from my gopro this is right now i'm shooting from my phone i'll give you my driving impressions on driving this car so this will be divided into two parts one is the walk around video and one is the driving video i hope you guys enjoyed this video so if you like this video please hit the like button and if you haven't subscribed to my channel take care of this is the first time my name is noel paragokan this is my channel take care do subscribe if you have any comments or any feedback please do leave it in the comment section of this video please share this video and i'll see you guys in my next video let's just lock this car